Hey there rock stars, Eric Andreas, your guitar sage here, and today I'm going to show you the number one technique, the holy grail, if you will, on how to get clean sounding chords, okay? So if you're having issues with chords sounding like this, where you got some muted notes and some buzzing notes, I'm going to show you how to fix this, okay? Now, this is part of my 30 lessons that I teach all my folks here in Nashville. If you want more detail and more videos for that, just go to yourguitarsage.com 30. The link is also below. And a detailed version of this video, okay? So the idea here is what I call the holy grail. There's several different things that one can do in order to play their chords cleanly. But what I've found through many years of playing and many years of teaching is that if you take your hand and you curl it like this, I mean, just the the most dramatic curl that you can possibly do, as if you were karate chopping something. You want to white knuckle this. So you can see my knuckles are white there. The reason being is you're doing this in the air is you can realize if you look at your hand from the side that you're doing about a 90 degree angle there with your, your fingers. Don't even need to do that much when you're playing these chords, but just to know that you could curl those, those knuckles further, okay? Now, what you want to do is when you're playing chords, you do not, number one, you want to play on your fingertips. But if you're beyond that, if you know about playing on your fingertips and getting close to the fret and all that, and you're still having some issues after pressing hard and everything else, you're going to find that this clears up any issues that you're having with your chords if you're doing, the, doing it correctly. And here's why. First off, it, re it makes you play on your fingertips, which is important when you're playing your chords, because if you're not playing on your fingertips, then you're playing on your pads, and you're going to get these notes that, don't, that are muted and that buzz and everything else. If you're playing on your fingertips, you get nice, clear-sounding chords like that. And curling that last, knuck that last knuckle, so the top one, will assure that you're playing on your fingertips, and it will assure that all the other strings are playing and not being muted by the pads of the other fingers. Does that make sense? So, when you're playing your chords, you'll notice, watch this, here's a C chord, or here's the clean way to play it, and here I'm going to just barely uncurl that knuckle, just barely, pressing the same amount. playing one, two, kind of, out of five notes, just because, now watch what I do with my hand, watch, barely curled that knuckle, makes all the difference in the world. And you can do this for absolutely any chord, so you want to think more curled up. I mean, even if the, that, even if your hand, your finger is, instead of pointing up, it's pointing down like that, even if you're doing that, that's really the hyper version of it or the, the extended version of this. As long as you're clearing those strings, you're good. You don't have to do that that much. But just think, curled knuckle is the holy grail to cleaning up your chords every single time. All right, my friends? Please let me know how I can help. This is part of my, my 30 lesson series. You'll find that link below, yourguitarsage.com slash 30. Please let me know how I can help. Comments below. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and all those good places. And I would love to help you out with any of your guitar needs. As always, spay and neuter your animals, be kind to one another, and don't trust the man. See ya.